Good morning. My name is Susan Blackmore. I'm the principal of Father Claire Tipping School. And on behalf of all of the schools of the St. Margaret de Ville Parish community, we'd like to thank Father Roger and the parish staff for all they have done, first in welcoming us to this Mass to celebrate Catholic education, and for all that Father Roger does and the parish community does to support us in the growth of the sacraments, in our school visits, in nurturing us through the use of the Rosary community. Our theme for Catholic Education Week this year is Nurturing Hope, and we are so blessed to have a parish leader who fosters that devotion to us on a daily basis. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear friends, welcome, a warm welcome to all our schools. And we have our schools represented today by these lit candles on the altar. My prayer today is that each one of you may be blessed by the light of God. Our theme for this week, for Catholic Education Week, is Nurturing Hope. I am hoping that by lighting these candles and praying for each one of our schools, God's hope may be nurtured and may be a burning flame in our hearts. And you notice I have seven candles. It's because I have included our secondary school as well here today, St. Margaret Duville. So thanks for tuning in with us. It's great to have you here. And I truly pray through our celebration of the Eucharist that God will bless all our schools, members of, of staff, our students, and our administrative bodies as well. God be with you. Let us begin by acknowledging our sins as we come before our God. Lord, for the times when we were unkind, when we did not support each other in a spirit of love, Lord, have mercy. Christ, for the times when we were not signs of hope, when we discouraged others by our words and our actions, Christ, have mercy. Lord, for the times when we were not loving, when we did not help and extend, extend a help, helping hand to our brother or sister, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Our Mass today is being offered for the repose of the soul of Callisto Mendez. O God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, grant your people constancy in faith and hope that we may never doubt the promises of which we have learned from you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Iconium, Paul and Barnabas spoke in such a way that a great number of both Jews and Greeks became believers. But the residents of the city were divided, so that when an attempt was made by both Gentiles and Jews with their rulers to mistreat them and to stone them, the apostles learned of it and fled to Lystra and Derbe, cities of Lyconia, and to the surrounding country where they continued proclaiming the good news. In Lystra there was a man sitting who could not use his feet and had never walked. 
for he had been crippled from birth. He listened to Paul as he was speaking, and Paul, looking at him intently, and seeing that he had faith to be healed, said in a loud voice, Stand upright on your feet. And the man sprang up and began to walk. When the crowd saw what Paul had done, they shouted in the Laconian language, The gods have come down to us in human form. Barnabas they called Zeus, and Paul they called Hermes, because he was the chief speaker. The priest of Zeus, whose temple was just outside the city, brought oxen and garlands to the gates. He and the crowds wanted to offer sacrifice. When the apostles Barnabas and Paul heard of it, they tore their clothes and rushed out into the crowd, shouting, Friends, why are you doing this? We are mortals just like you, and we bring you good news, that you should turn from these worthless things to the living God, who made the heaven and the earth and the sea, and all that is in them. In past generations, God allowed all nations to follow their own ways, yet he has not let given himself with a witness in doing good, giving you rains from heaven and fruitful seasons, and filling you with food and your hearts with joy. Even with these words, they scarcely restrained the crowds from offering sacrifice to them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalm is not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not, not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory. For the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness, why should the nations say, where is their God? Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. Our God is in the heavens. He does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of human hands. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. May he be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens and the Lord's heaven are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to human beings. Not to us, O Lord, but to your name give the glory. stand for the reading of the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Before the festival of the Passover, Jesus knew that the hour had come to depart from this world and go to the Father. During the supper, Jesus said to the disciples, those who have, my, who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Judas, not Iscariot, said to him, Lord, how is it that you will reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Jesus answered him, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you, to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated, everyone. Okay, I have a pre-taped um, video that we will plug into the system now. I just want you to sit back and relax. It's a, it will tell you where these seven candles came from. It's a special prayer that I'm offering for all our schools, and it will reveal to you how God wants us all to be a sign of hope in today's world. How you could be a sign of hope to your fellow students, to your family members, your neighbors, and your friends. So let's listen.
Welcome to our collective worship at the start of Catholic Education Week. Welcome to the students and staff of St. John Bosco, St. Isaac Jokes, Father Claire Tipping, Blessed Michael McGivney, Our Lady of Providence, Good Shepherd, and St. Margaret de Will Secondary School. Today we come to you from St. Margaret to your fellow church. St. Marguerite is a patron saint against poverty and loss of parents. Many people in the Peel district visit this place, especially in times of anxiety and darkness. We begin today in darkness. Are you afraid of the dark? Some people are. Can you imagine being left alone in the dark? Darkness rep represents all the things that oppress us, our fears and our hurts, even the hard times we live in. A famous Chinese proverb says, it is better to light a candle than complain about the darkness. 2,000 years ago, People were also afraid of darkness. People had lost hope. But God sent us a light, to light the darkness. One light, and gradually, that one light lit up the whole world. God sent a messenger, Amen, named John. And John came to tell people, so that all may hear the message and believe. John himself was not the light. He came to tell us about the light. Jesus was the real light, the light that comes into the world and shines on all peoples. It is hard to see this light. We can't be without our friends, as we would like to. Shops are closed. We can't go out. We feel constrained. Our lives today feel so constrained and diminished. But this gives us an opportunity to reflect on our personality and our character. Some of us are friendly, we are honest, someone who listens, someone who is reliable, and can keep a secret. The bad side. You may be a poor friend, someone who doesn't always tell the truth, someone who doesn't show love, and respect to your family and people around us. We can all become better people. We can all show kindness, love, and respect for people we meet in our lives. We can become the people of light and hope in our community. We can be the change we want to see.
So today we light seven candles, one for each of our schools. Let these candles be signs of hope. We can nurture hope in our homes and in our world. Let our hope be real as we relate to people. St. Isaac jokes, I light this candle of love. May you be a sign of love, love for family, friends, and neighbors. St. John Bosco, I light a candle of peace. In this time of anxiety and fear, may we all trust Jesus, the Prince of Peace. May he bring peace to our hearts. Father Claire Tepe, I light your candle, a candle of joy. May you bring joy to others through acts of kindness and genuine care for those around you. Blessed Michael McGivney, I light your candle, a candle of gratitude. May you always be grateful for all the blessing you have received, that despite your pain, God will always provide. Good Shepherd, I light your candle, a candle of faith. May you always trust in the Lord, hold on to him and stand firm. He will never abandon you or leave you alone. Our Lady of Providence, I light your candle, a candle of blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make you his face shine upon you and be gracious to you, both now and forever. The Lord lift up his continuance upon you and give you peace. I light a candle for Blessed Michael McGivney. This candle is a candle of respect. Dear Lord, help me respect the planet's resources, to see all persons as a child of God, to pray that none of us will be caught in the trap of comparison, jealousy, strife, hatred, and disunity. Amen.
St. Marguerite Deville, I light your candle, a candle of hope. Lord, when life is difficult, may we place all our hope in you. May I never doubt your word. We pray for everyone at this difficult time as we work in our bubbles. Keep us safe, keep us healthy and strong, and may we always know of your love. Amen. So my dear friends, my dear students, this is the source of these candles that we have. They were lit for you, each representing a different aspect of hope in our lives today. And God wants us all to be signs of hope. I pray that the light of Jesus will shine in your heart and that you will be a sign of hope to others. We'll now have the prayers of the faithful. Almighty God, we place these prayers in your hands with faith and confidence in you. For Catholic education, that Catholic schools may show the love of God in the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Catholic education, that our Catholic schools may be blessed with courage and energy to continue to live out their invaluable role in our society, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Catholic education, that our Catholic schools may be inspired by the example of the many great saints who have gone before them and who intercede for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Catholic education, that our Catholic schools may nurture the growth of wisdom and virtue in the young, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we place these prayers in your hands with faith and confidence in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. So we continue now with the celebration of the Eucharist and our Mass is being offered for all students and staff members of all our elementary schools. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, may it become for us the bread of life. Lord, by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, may it become for us our spiritual drink.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant Church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. And so we join you with the angels and saints as we proclaim your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Thomas our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand as we pray together in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. You can just bow your heads to those around you as a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So I know many of us would have liked to be here receiving communion, but once you have that desire in your heart to receive Jesus, that is what is important. So just say a prayer quietly in your heart. A prayer is going to come up on the screen, and you can just pray that prayer and invite Jesus to be part of your life and to bless you today. An act of spiritual communion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Once again, what a pleasure it has been offering Mass on your behalf for all our schools. I always pray for you, pray and ask God to protect our schools, most of all, because of the ravages of COVID in our society today, to keep our kids safe. I know all of you are at home now, but still, we pray for your safety and your protection. And we pray, we continue to pray for your families. We pray for your mental health as well. We want to ask God to give you joy in your heart. And this week, our, our theme for Catholic Education Week is so terribly important at this time because we need hope in our hearts. It's so easy to become discouraged, to become fearful and anxious and afraid. But with hope in our hearts, we can be a source of joy for others. Now, our, the, the Peel District Catholic Education Board, they composed a special prayer for this week, and we will all say that prayer together. The, the prayer will come up on your screen. So let's pray together. 
Gracious and generous God, creator of the earth and our common home, with each new day, we prepare the earth of our lives by sowing seeds of gratitude for all you have given. Inspire us to cultivate relationships with all living beings. May we harvest new fruit and marvel in the wonders at the beauty around us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.